What's going on divers? This is Jacob from the Chaos Divers. It's a little chilly out. It's about, uh, I don't know, 40 degrees, something like that. We're at Heron 2, I'm sorry, Heron 1 Reservoir. We got the boat ready. I'm gonna get ready to launch. Um, you guys, I, I want you all to know that we are searching the areas for Joe Moore. He's in a white Cadillac. Um, may or may not be here. You guys, you guys, you, nobody knows so far. So, um, you know, he went missing almost 11 years ago now. Um, we're searching all the areas. Team Waters, Dennis had asked me if I would come out here and search this. If you guys haven't checked out Team Waters, check them out. They're doing great things. Um, they found a lot of missing people. So we're going to search this area. Make sure nobody was behind me. <laughs> um, so I'm not, I'm not in a location that I'm worried about. <clears throat> uh, this is private. Uh, this is like privately owned everywhere around, but in this lake. So you guys, if, if anybody was in the area, you guys could, could come on out. It's, it's no big deal. Uh, got a squirrel moment, right? Um, let me, let me get this chat so I can see everybody's chat. And for all you guys who are joining, no. That if I do not see your comment, I'm not ignoring you. You haven't been blocked. Um, it's, it's a little bit windy. So, and a little chilly. Just know that I'm not ignoring you, okay? I can't see everybody. Hey, Ringo and Zar, what's going on? It's definitely cold. So, let me put you guys on the bracket. I'm going to get this started up. And uh, I'm going to switch around and then I'm here in a second. So don't freak out on me. Get my gloves on. That gum cold out. All right. So the sonar is getting ready to start up. We're gonna get ready to put it in the water. Uh, guys, I want you guys to know that in the next week or so, we will have the uh, the website chaosdivers.com up and running. We have a lot of big things. To support the channel that are coming out i spent the past i would have been here you guys are going to hear a lot of noise because i'm going to push the boat into the water but for for the past two about two hours i was talking to a guy named ryan and i was trying to get permission to 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 search this one area that has a huge amount of water and strip pits and it's called crenshaw there's actually a book about this place devil worshiping, um, hangouts. There's all kinds of stuff that, that it has the potential to find some crazy things. And I actually got permission, but he has to ask some other landowners to uh, be able to search these areas. And I'm super excited about that to bring you guys that content. I'm not for sure what we'll find, but let me push you guys in the water and get started. And I'll talk to you here in a second. So I got the magnet with me from the Brute Magnetics. If you guys haven't checked them out, check them out. They've got a good line of metal detector uh, magnets. Get in the water. Woo! Yay, I'm in the water. Now let's see if I can get in the boat and not flip over because uh, old Jacob will be cold if I do that. Okay, so let's get the sonar in. I just want to tell everybody, each and every one of you guys, I appreciate you. Um, and if I come off as a, as you know, a butthead or you know somebody who, who who doesn't respect you, I do. I just my actions sometimes speak louder than my words, and uh, I don't want to misconstrue people on, on how my actions go. So just know I appreciate each and every one of you. You need a John boat. We're gonna get a, uh, we're actually gonna get a scout. Thanks to you guys, I, I was able to um, get a scout. It just needs to come in and it's taken forever. So we'll get started. I'll, I'll switch you guys around. You're so sweet, Jacob. Well, thank you. All right, we'll switch you guys around so you can see 
what I'm looking at. We're in two, two foot of water. And if you guys have any areas where you guys want me to search, um, I'm almost to the point now. Oh, God dang, God night. There's a dock there. <laughs> it hit me in the shoulder. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up, Rush? All right, so if you guys... Uh, if you guys have an area where you want me to search, please feel free to, to message me and we'll try to work something out. I'm almost to the point where I can venture off. I almost have my uh, my bed made in the, I almost have my bed made in the, uh, in the trailer. So I'll be able to turn on the buddy heater and sleep overnight, um, you know, so it won't cost me as much to get um, like a hotel room. I just sleep in my camper. Well, my trailer. All right. So anyway, let's go get searching. Look out for that dock. I'm telling you that dock come up quick. I wasn't even ready for it. All right. Let me move this over. I got to position you guys or you can see. And the biggest thing is so I can see. Okay. So we're only in two foot of water. So if there was a vehicle here, I could literally see it. <laughs> So we're gonna search all around this Aaron Pond. This is the first time I've ever been here. I don't know what to expect. So just know that we're gonna search and I will be watching this sonar most of the time. I've actually got you guys at an angle that I can't see your chat. So let me, uh, let me angle it to where I can see you guys and you guys can see at the same time. All right. If you guys don't know about this system, it's the Helix 10. This is the water column. So we're in two foot of water from here to here is the bottom at about a 30 degree angle. And you can see if I come up to a hump, you'll see it get shallower. If I go deeper, you're gonna see a lot more black. Currently we're searching 23 right, 23 left. That's actually where I left off. And that's a pretty good um, range in the depth that we're at to search you know we can find boats we can find four-wheelers we can you know I can say a four-wheeler now because I found one uh, we can find anything guys this sonar is has come in clutch and it's because of you guys that were able to let me do that so I don't remember the exact I'll give you a never thought of you to check Crenshaw oh yeah yeah, that spot right there, I'm gonna tell you. He took me on the side by side, took me all around, and we spent we spent quite a bit of time together getting to know each other. And I'm able to uh, hopefully after he talks to his his uh, the other landowners, I'll be able to search. You're just right down the road. Well, if you want, you're more than welcome to stop by and say hi. I'll be on this water for about an hour or two, so if you want to stop by and say hi, I don't have any stickers or anything, so. Uh, you'll have to excuse me on that one. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Um, who are you? Vicki Dodd. Cool. Um, I'm going to search this area. Like I said, oh, it was only in two foot of water, so it's pretty shallow. But all around this area is... Thanks, new divers. Hey, Lee, what's going on, buddy? Lee, as you guys know, was the other diver that was with me on recovering the four-wheeler. He did an amazing job for me. Or, you know, with he did an amazing job on that. So, oh my God, May, Megan, you have no idea. What's up, Holly? How are you? Okay, so what I was talking about earlier on the store opening, guys, we have so much cool stuff coming. Holly has made some keychains, some magnets. You guys seen those? Um, you know, I, I've, I've told her to to hold off until the store gets open because we want to get stocked up on it. And that would be really neat for you guys um, to see. We also have a new design on the shirts that uh, I don't know if you guys remember Ronnie from... Uh, well, I, 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 can't, I can't announce his name yet. He's going to have a YouTube channel. So it was the guy that was... Uh, keeping a reel on Tucker Hill that was with me. His wife is making t-shirts. So I'm gonna have another line of t-shirts coming out. So that's pretty cool. 
can't wait to show you guys. So when the store opens, it's chaosdivers.com. If you guys want to get notified, go to that website and uh, click get notified so you guys can see. There is an option if you don't want like new updates on the channel or on that website that, um, what we got here, hold on. Oh, that's fish, fish or grass right in here. I can't hold off, we actually need more. <laughs> okay, well, I know, I just, so anyway, What we got, if you want to get notified, we also have the option to just get notified when the store opens. So I just want to say thank you in advance. Hey, Allie F. Martin, thank you for becoming a member. Not for sure exactly what kind of member you are. Let me check it real quick. You are a diver. Thank you for your support. That's going to go for gas to allow me to be able to do all this stuff that we're doing. So on the left, you guys will see a whole bunch of trees and we got something right here. That's nothing of concern, but it looks like either a tire or something there. Let me see if I can, well, what I'm gonna do is this gonna be on your right again. I'm gonna come back through and see if we can verify what that is. There's a John boat and this is somebody's private dock. So wish I could do more, you know, just you guys watching is enough you know watching and 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 sharing it out that's that supports and the algorithm on youtube that supports us a hundred percent so thank you so much yeah uh i think it was a 95 caddy isn't it i thought it was i may be wrong on that on the year i thought it was a 95. all right so that was that was really nothing nothing of concern right there I guess it's just how it caught the sonar. So for all you guys who are just coming in, know that I am talking to people on the chat and you guys could actually select the live chat after this is said and done. And you guys can actually see the live chat and me talking to people. I like to take you guys along on the trip, on the journey, to get you an idea of what we actually do. It said 90 to 91. Yeah, I, th I think it's around that. Corey Johnson, what's going on, buddy? Thank you for coming in. And if you guys haven't, you guys need to check out Corey Johnson's um, adventures. If somebody could throw his link up, I would really appreciate it. He's a huge supporter of the channel and a good friend of mine. Um, I love that man to death. He's, he's an amazing man. Crazy, but amazing. All right. All right, so what I'm gonna do since we're in, well, we're in, only in three foot away. Let me go, let me get this out a little bit. I do not run split screen because I can miss stuff. It makes stuff smaller. So I've learned that from Dennis from Team Waters. You know, getting an extra angle at it or getting a down imaging on it or side imaging, <clears throat> then we'll, we'll switch it. But to run a sonar like this, you generally want to stay in this view. I'm doing good, Christina Horton. Thank you for asking. So what you see, all those little holes, those are probably bluegill bed. And you'll see little specks of white all around. And those are, if anybody wants to buy me a new car for Christmas, I will say early I love you and thanks. The new car blew up yesterday and no Christmas. Oh, sorry about that, Tim. Uh, what's the water temperature? 43 degrees. Cold, 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 cold. Hey, what's going on, Turtle Boy? Did I get to keep the four wheeler? No, the four wheeler went on a on a uh, flatbed and was taken out. So, 
Well, it was somebody's, but they couldn't figure out the owner. I'm not sure he has a YouTube. Tara, yes, he does have a YouTube. Um, Corey Johnson has, uh, I don't have his link on here, so. I'm just looking at this stuff over here. What are we looking for today? We're looking for anything of interest to dive on uh, and in hopes of coming across Joel Moore's vehicle. Thank you, Tara, for doing that. I have him on my list. All right, hypothermia degrees, right? <laughs> All right, so if anybody is, is you know, wondering about the whole um, moderation or modding and stuff for the channel i have how long has joe been missing he's been missing for going on 11 years now um about 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 the mods guys i have the best mods around and they're very supportive of me and i'm not going to say i have too many but i have just enough so i appreciate the offer but we're going to we're going to just going to go with that Sitting on his iPad. What's up, Corey? <laughs> There's 180 people in here and 98 likes. Guys, that's super amazing to me. It, uh, it means the world for you, your guys' support on doing this. Cleaning up the river systems and, you know, and, and, and trying to help the families out in, in time of need. So... Mods here are killers if they get set up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely the mods in here are good. Holly, I send you Brock's link to share it here for Jacob. Uh, so is, is Brock not on? Brock is a mod in here. He could actually share it out. Brock the Rock. Any word on the scout? David, I got a word on the scout. It hasn't left the port yet. Um, all of the accessories are in and created and made. I'm just waiting on the on the boat for them to send it. So they're gonna all send it all in one package, you know? Um, so yeah, I have not seen Brock, Brock in here today. Well, somebody said Brock, so hey, Amanda Johnston, how are you? Like I said, guys, if I don't see your comment, I'm paying attention to the uh, to the sonar, and for everybody who's saying you need to you need to pay attention more to the sonar than, than the chat room. Well, guess what? I'm talking to everybody, and uh, this is what we do. And generally, if I miss something, which I really don't, because you guys see how far down that goes, it's pretty slow. I do overlook my live streams and the um, the recording on the on the sonar. So nothing really gets past me. That's kind of weird. You were doing just great. Thank you, Sky Dancer. That's kind of weird. Let me look at this real quick. It's just a stump. So you see right here, that's a dock. You actually can't see the dock, but it's a dock. Oops. There's 100 people in here, 100 plus people in here, right? All right, so I'm gonna actually turn around and, and look at what this spot was again. Um, just to get a different angle at it. It's always good to get a second spot whenever you find something that looks of interest. Do you guys have a clear view? Um, if it, you know, Stephanie Liska actually bought me a Norwex towel that cleaned the sonar. So that's pretty cool. Got 191 people in here and 128 likes. Thank you so much. 
Everyone thumbs up. Brenda Jensen, hit that thumbs up. Thank you guys. It just helps with the algorithm and, and, and allows me to get this, get this channel going better than it is. And it will allow me to be able to do this continuously. So with your support, that's awesome. That looks... I'm just going to go right over top of it. I don't know if you guys see that, but it's, it's right here. It almost kind of looks like a boat, but I should be able to see it. It's only in two foot of water. I'm just gonna go right back over it. I'm gonna go right over top of it. You'll see it, I'm, I'm turning around, so you'll see it kind of screwed up. It looks like a little John boat or something, a little front of a boat. So I'm gonna be going right over top of it. Well, I'm only in a foot of water. If I was to see it, it, it should hit it. Okay. Yeah, that's nothing. Just uh, yeah, that's nothing. Okay, let's get out of here. You see these black spots? These are shadows because that sonar is casting, you know, out, and then it creates a shadow and all these little bumps and stuff. It's all shadows. House Papa Chaos, thank you for asking um, Sheila, I think. I think that's what it said. Uh, he's doing well, actually. He he started cleaning out the van so we could uh, start taking our adventures on the road. So he started taking out all of his tools since he was a heating and air conditioning man for 20 some odd years, or like 45 years, maybe 50. Um, Started cleaning out his van and getting all his parts out so he can put a bed in there so I can sleep in the camper or the trailer and he can sleep in the van while we go on our adventures. Or if he needs to rest, he can do that. But he's doing really well. He's getting, he's able to get out. The doctor said his foot was healing up and the infection went away. So he he's actually doing wonderful. So, thank you. We're going along the highway. I'm not for sure how long that guardrail's been up. What's your website to order the t-shirts? Okay, Tara, so the website isn't up yet, but it's chaosdivers.com. One word, obviously. No underscore, just chaosdivers.com. And You'll see three little lines on there. Click on that to get notified. Guys, I promise you, I won't be spamming you a thousand messages a day on the website. You can opt out on that and just say, get notified when store opens. So thank you guys. Papa Chaos, better keep up the good self-care. Thank you. Uh, he should be watching actually. So, oh, chaosdivers.com. Okay, I wanna add it to my list of links. Thank you so much. I want to say, I didn't forget about it, but I forgot to say it on here. If uh, if everybody could uh, please give my mom happy birthday, mom. And I love you and thank you for everything you've done. And uh, yeah, happy birthday. So if you guys want to tell her happy birthday, her name is Colleen, she should be watching. Keeping it real on Tucker Hill. Hey, buddy. Keeping it real on Tucker Hill. So he, he's actually going to become a scuba diver. So his channel will be, his name will be changing on his channel. And I he, he told me not to announce it yet. So I can't tell you his name just yet on there. But keeping it real on Tucker Hill is his channel right now. Thank you for your birthday wishes, guys. You know, I told her, told her happy birthday, and we hang out for a little while, and she knows what I'm doing, and so, so she told me to get out of the house. <laughs> so thank you, Mom, for letting me do that. 
All right, so you got um, school or uh, some crappie sets, not crappie sets, but bluegill. And that was probably an old road bed at one time going across. You see how the difference of that is? There's an old road bed going across there. So that's cool. There are some beautiful houses out here. I know you guys can't see the houses, but. As soon as we know he will get the subs. Thank you, Holly, I appreciate it. All right, so we got something kind of of interest here. These look like big rocks. Um, I'll be going back over them, so I'll be able to tell a little better. It's in about five feet of water. So here, just shortly, I'll be going back over them. Pretty sure that these are just big, big rocks. But there's something of interest to look at. And uh, we'll scan back over them here shortly. After I get through here. <laughs> Mom said, oh my, thanks everyone. Uh, yeah, I think I was bothering her, so. <laughs> Maddie Manson, hello. Uh, Amanda Johnson, hello. Yeah, and, and I'm really surprised at the connection here. It's it's amazing. So, all right, we're gonna turn back around. You guys are gonna see those rocks. I'm gonna try to hang a little bit to the left side of those rocks so we can get a better look at it and then we can look at it from the other angle just to make sure it's not a vehicle. Because sometimes when you go through there, your sonar will show something different. Like it catches it at the right spot. Shout out from Sudbury, uh, Ontario, Canada. Wow, that's crazy. All right, let me see if I can't. How long have I been doing this? I've been diving for almost two years now. Let me see. I can dive on those when it's warmer, right? I could probably jump down. Mama Chaos, you raised a good man. Thank you, I appreciate that, Angela. You know, it means a lot. So if you guys see this black spot over here, it's because I'm, I'm pushing up against the, yeah, always cross three different ways, exactly. And very little buffering. I hope I'm not buffering at all. I have four, when I first started this, I had four bars, so. I think my, my screw is, Melbourne, Australia, what's up? I think my screw is coming off of this thing. Marion University town, and you're probably close enough Interstate, you should have awesome signal, right? All right, so yeah, these are definitely rocks. So as you guys can see, I just went over it, so it's gonna bubble up a little bit over here because it's deep, uh, or not deep, but it's shallow, and it's like I'm going right over top of it. Yeah, I got a screw loose. <laughs> Tim Jones, this channel is so relaxing, and watching it makes me happy. Amazing brother, plus all the amazing friends. Thank you, man. That means a lot. There's a helicopter. Great picture, good. Man, these are some massive uh, bluegill beds. <laughs> that looks horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Come on, screen. Go, 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 go. I just noticed something. Go. 241 people and 168 likes. You can't ask for any better than that. That is so awesome. Thank you, guys. University of Carbondale too, right? Chaos always has a screw loose. Yeah, I do. You'll see the black side. That's me kissing up against the... Uh... Shoreline. All right, so we got something here. I want to go back over it. I'm going to turn back around. It looks like a log to me. Or a tire. Or no, that's, a, that's another hole for a... Uh, bluegill bed man some bluegill fishing here need a small electric trolling motor yeah you know once i get the scout we'll do that i'm gonna go back over it i know where it is cindy fulkerson i just went got blood pressure medicine two days ago i'm in harrisburg cool hello cindy fulkerson from harrisburg that's my town oh geez there's somebody over here fishing i didn't even know it See 
if I can help them out a little bit. What's the average cost of learning how to dive? You're looking at around 500, maybe 700. Uh, Merman Springs offers training, but I would suggest that you support your local businesses. All right, that was just a little stick. Okay. But the equipment is the most expensive thing. How you doing, buddy? Good. You catching anything? Uh, I just got back from Crab Orchard. Kind of Mess of crappie, yeah. Mess of crappie, all right. So as you probably already know, there's crappie bed and bluegill beds all around this area. So you should have some fun. No, I did not. Thank you. Yeah, well, you're welcome. Just come here to bass fish. There's always something like right along the shoreline. Yeah, so they're probably attacking the bluegill that are around here. Because like I said, the bluegill bed, there's all from that pole to that pole over there. That's all bluegill beds. Hey, no problem. So uh, if you look up Chaos Divers on YouTube, that's who I am. Chaos Divers? <laughs> I'm sorry? Oh, him on fishing? You got one? Hey, look at this guy. See, I told you. That's a bass. Hey, I told you they're feeding. Uh, do you mind being on YouTube? Oh, you have a GoPro on your head. So I got a YouTube fisherman, huh? Okay, well, well, well let me show you a little bit of love here. Yeah, we're actually searching for vehicles underwater. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're searching for vehicles and... You know, oh, I was gonna show them the fish. I was gonna show them the fish. You're you're a fishing channel, and you caught a fish, and you didn't even get to show it. <laughs> oh, you got you got distracted, huh? So there's 261 people looking at you right now. Hey guys, what's going on? So what was your channel again? Tim Hahn fishing. Oh, Tim Hahn fishing. Right. Thank you. I couldn't hear for some reason. Right yeah, I am. Uh, you know what? I shouldn't be going right over top of your fishing area. Tim Hod Fishing. How many, uh, or is that how they're, they're going to find you on there? Or? Tim H. A U N Fishing. So everybody say hi to him. We're going to get ready to go search another area further down on here, but uh, good luck on fishing, buddy. Well, hold on. Hold on. Your channel, so I can shout you out. <laughs> Uh, Chaos Divers? Chaos Divers. Yeah, don't go by this. This is Chaos Paddlers. That's my other channel. I do all kinds of crazy stuff on that one. But... So you think there's actually some vehicles out here? Uh, so Team Waters from uh, up north, they asked me to start doing this over here on Heron to all see. Right. Not for sure exactly if... if uh, you know, we don't know. We don't know exactly where he's at. Okay. Um, we are looking for a specific person. His name is Joe Moore. Okay. But, uh, you know, well, nobody really knows where he went. So. Well, I hope, well, I kind of hope you find him, but I kind of hope you don't. Well, that's, I, I know what you mean. Yep. So, all right, well, I'm going to. Thank you for the shout out, guys. Hey, no problem. So, Tim Hahn Fishing, guys, check him out. H-A-U-N. H-A-U-N? N, as in Nancy. And in his net. That's what I said. All right. No problem, brother. God bless you. So uh, somebody has actually found your channel and has... Uh, uh oh, I think my thing broke. Oh, no. It broke. No, I... You wouldn't happen to have a uh, a GoPro screw, do you? How far is the car? If you're shouting out on your channel, guys, I'll come right back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's surprise him, guys. He's he's like super excited right now. <laughs> he uh what's up, Muddy Bottom Adventures? He's actually gonna go get me a GoPro screw. Um for some reason, somehow the GoPro screw came off. And I don't understand it. I don't know where it went. Um, 
you know, there, there are some heavier set people. I asked about the cost because I'm interested in doing it. Now, 415 pounds, will that be a problem in diving? No. Jacob, you make friends everywhere I go. Well, you know, I don't want to be a butthead to people. So he's going to get me a screw. And Tim's, Tim's going to screw me. <laughs> so I, I, I appreciate you guys helping him out. Oh, God, he had to go far. Look at this. Look at the dude. And he's running. <laughs> he's running and he's getting into his car right over <laughs> I can't, I can't find my finger. There it is. He's running. This car's way over there. Uh, this is funny. I mean, I don't mean to laugh at him because, you know, it's, it's amazing that he's giving me a, uh, a, a screw. But what, Ruby? <laughs> I did. I had a screw loose. I don't know what the heck happened to the screw. And now he ran to go get him a the, the GoPro screw. I was, I was wondering why it was... Uh, only UK house. What's up, Joe Randall? I was wondering why he, uh, why it was so loose. I don't understand that. I don't know what happened to it. And I lost it. So that'll be an easy fix. This dude is jogging back. Who is the pitcher in the paddle? So that's my son, Keegan. That's my wife, Jamie. And that's my daughter, Lexi. Now, if y'all wondering why her face is all messed up with the, the paddle on there, it's because I whitewater kayak. And that's the first blunt hit is, is that part of the paddle. So, uh, yeah, she asked a question. She goes, why is my face all messed up and on the picture and Keegan's isn't and Mommy's isn't? And I'm like, well, you know, sorry, honey. <laughs> this dude is jogging still. This, this is a, a real cool guy, I'm telling you. Your son just looks like, yeah, I know, poor thing. Tell Tim to check his subscriber count. Hey, Tim, yes. you got your phone on you? Do you have your phone on you? Yes. Would you do me a favor and look at your subscriber list? And, and oh, no, don't look at it yet. Don't look at it yet. Come here. Your notifications are going crazy. <laughs> Don't look at it yet. Just just wait until uh, wait until you get closer. I want people's expression on this one. All right. Let me give you some money for that. Nope. What do you say? No. <laughs> <sighs> Same thing. Yeah, I would too. I had a feeling. Did it break? Break? No. I brought you one of these too if you need it. Um. Why are you out of breath? <laughs> Could you do that? <laughs> oh, I, uh, no, I really couldn't. There you go. Well, thank you. Thank you. And if I just think it just came out. All right. Now, uh, do me a favor and check your subscriber list. Okay. 76, two. It's not refreshing fast. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, Guys, the. Uh, the moderators are dro dropping in the links. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks. It's not refreshing just yet. Hold on. Well, can I just tell you it? Yeah, please do. 126. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Well done. Did, 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 did you realize that you were... It's 133 now. Did you realize that you were going to be like this? No, I figured I'd hit 100 subscribers by like next March. Maybe okay. So, so let me ask you this. Was it a good fishing trip? Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay. Thank you, man. Plus, I got to help you out. Hopefully, you find the car, but then again, hopefully, you don't. Yeah, I, it's, uh, well, you're at 100 and you're probably at 140 now. <laughs> I can't wait to tell. Hey, good luck. Sorry. Good, Sorry. good luck on your channel, brother. Thank you. God bless All right. You God bless you, too. All right. So, we're going to, we're going to put this, uh, back on here. Thank you guys so much for your support. And, uh, do I? You're good. You're good. Um, hey, let me ask you a question. Did you uh, did you subscribe to my channel? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm trying to fix. Do what? So you're not going to actually watch this video. It's just live. Um, 
but you're more than welcome to watch it after it's done or you can actually get on um, after you're done fishing and check it out. So right now, guys, I'm trying to put this screw in. I'm gonna have to take it actually off the bracket. I can't see the daggum hole. Can't see the hole, guys. Ah, there we go. It's amazing to know that I have these supportive, supportive people who will do this for you guys. Why is it not going in? So give me a second, guys, and we'll get back on to what we're doing. For some reason, I'm going to have to get way over here. All right, let me see if I can get this in. So you guys are going to... You guys are gonna see Tim while I, you're gonna see Tim while he fishes while I uh, try to fix this thing. No pressure. No pressure. Catch a fish. Tim Hahn fishing. Well, he caught a bass earlier guys and he didn't wanna show you guys cause it was too small. Is that what it was? You didn't want to show everybody because it was too small, right? I can't give away my fishing spots, man. That's what it is. Oh, you can't give away your fishing spots. Well, I I increased your fishing spot, didn't I? Say what? I increased your fishing spot. You did. I told you where all no, the... I uh, wasn't even thinking about it. I was just making a conversation. <laughs> I, I, was, I was telling people, you know, I was telling you about the whole... Uh, what? The about the bluegill beds. You know, uh, to your channel. I'm sorry? Yeah. <laughs> so we go around, you know, we've got a lot of people who, well, not a lot of people. We got a, we got a group of people that are going around adventures with purpose has given us the opportunity and has showed us the way on how to, you know, recover vehicles. And so in my area, cause he's in, uh, we're fixed guys. In my area, since they're from Oregon, since they're from Oregon, uh, in my area, I'm able to search down here for vehicles. And I have, you know, Joel Moore that's been missing for 10 years, going on 11. So it, it means a little bit more to me to search for him, but we're also searching, you just got almost hung up. <laughs> hey, get a hold of me, uh, put my nut, well, I can't say my number on, on the phone, but Instagram? so yeah, I have an Instagram. Get a hold of me, and since you got me that uh, that screw, I'm gonna hook you up with a triple threat. It's a spinner bait that I make for bass fishing, okay. and uh, I'll hook You're you up with, too. huh? Too. Oh, I'm a big fisherman, so I'll, I'll hook you up with one of those spinner baits. All right, buddy? Okay. Yeah. Right? It'd be Chaos Divers on Instagram or Facebook. And it's Jacob Grubbs on Facebook if you want to check that out. Tim, catch some big fish, all right? All right, I'll see you. Thank you guys again. Sorry about. We're fixed. We are fixed and ready to go. And we just made a, a YouTuber really happy. Thank you guys so much. And that's, that's what I say about this. You know, you guys are huge supporters, not only to me, but to everybody that, that I come across. And, and it's amazing. We're back on the water, fixed. Now we're going to continue to search. Everybody says thank you. Oh, thank you guys. He said, no, thank you guys. All right, I'll see you, buddy. I gotta put my gloves back on, I'm freezing. <laughs> now he's 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 gonna do a little fishing, so you know, help him out. So, you're gonna have to get some videos up now. No pressure, you're gonna have to get some videos up. I'll see you buddy. You're at uh, 160. He's laughing. 
I'm sorry? <laughs> he wasn't ready. You guys caught him off guard. Uh, Charita. Let me look at this real quick. Charita Sharif or Sheriff. Thank you for becoming a diver. Your support means everything to me and it makes me be able to do this. So, thank you. Ready, ready or not, here they come. <laughs> All right, so you guys see that huge log? Wow. Does he have devil? Did you fish devil's kitchen? Hey, Tim. Did you fish devil's kitchen? Did you fish devil's kitchen? I just sonared that like. I just sonared that in, uh, on Thanksgiving. All right, man, I'll see you. <laughs> That's cool. All right, enough of that. We got to go. We're, we're, we're pressed for time now. 285 people in here and 242 likes. That is amazing. And thanks, <laughs> thanks to Tim, you guys can see the sonar again because it literally just fell off and I don't know where that screw went look at all those bluegill beds that's nuts losing sunlight I am it was his Thanksgiving video too you're around the same time <laughs> that's crazy all right so this right here looks this right here looks a little different. Let me look at this real quick. Um, hmm. Okay, we're gonna go back around. I'm gonna actually mark that spot. Oh, no, oh, oh, you big dummy. Let me mark that spot. That doesn't look. Come on, you stupid thing. Kind of looks like a golf cart. I'm gonna go right over top of it. Thank you, Tara, and have a good evening. There are a lot of bluegill beds down there, guys. Let's go fishing. Okay, we should be coming right over top of it now. I might have missed it. There's actually a bluegill bed with a bluegill on it or something. Something's on it. All right, let's get turned back around. There's another fish on it. Helen Avery. Guys, my lakes are frozen because this water keeps on splashing on my lakes. We're gonna have to get going. That's that was nothing. We went back through there. So it shouldn't take us too long to scout this out around this. It's a very shallow spot. 302 people and 260 likes. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for becoming a member. If you guys, if you guys, oh, well, you guys don't like my lap, do you? Sorry. That was crazy. We, you took a, you took a spill on that one. Well, I don't, I don't see it anymore. So that's what I'm saying. It was just a, a malady in the water or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to keep on going. And whenever I scan back through there, I didn't see it. So. 
All right, just, just for peace of mind, we're gonna try one more time going back around it. Chaos is your theme, right? All right, so if you guys like the content, you guys enjoying going out on this, please share it out, tell the people about it, you know, and that, that's the main support. And if you guys wanna become a member, it's chaosdivers.com. There's actually a member button on there that you can just click and it'll take you straight to the member section. So thanks again, guys. Let me go back through here. I am losing daylight pretty quick, but I'm gonna search this spot again, just to get an idea if it comes back up on the sonar. Let me do this little number here. Um, menu, let me go out just a little bit more. You have it marked. I do have it marked. But uh, look at all those details. But I know, uh, you know, even though I have it marked, I know where it's at. Like it should, it should have come back on. I, I'm just right against the, uh, right against the area. So I should have seen it. So it was just a difference of, I'm still searching, still looking. Oh, my towel does work really well. Like Stephanie Liska was a savior on a Norway towel. So we're gonna go over a tree. And you see how it comes up? I could probably touch that tree with my paddle. Jim, have you caught anything yet? Nope. I probably did scare them away, but off of here, if you can get over here, there's a thousand bluegill beds over on this direction right here. And it's only like four foot of water. So what you're using, you probably catch a bass. So I'm going to get out of here. All right, yeah. Do what? I didn't hear you. Oh, you got to head to church. Okay. All right, so we're going to go and continue to go on. Too darn cold out there. It is cold. So it doesn't matter. I am dressed for the weather. I have my rash guard on, three hoodies, and a jacket, and a life vest. Where's my location? I am in Heron. I'm actually in Energy and it's Heron. I actually, no, it is, it is in Heron. I'm actually looking at the water tower now. Hello, Jacob. There's the water tower. But, uh, <clears throat> I'm at the Heron Reservoir. So if you guys want to stop by, if you're in the area, you're more than welcome to. I won't be off the water until almost around dark because I still got a lot to search around here. Screw on the floor? No, I looked for it. I don't know if it was on there. <laughs> row, row, row your boat, right? Yeah. What state? Illinois. Is that a boat trailer? No, it's a log. Yep. All right, so we cleared that. We're actually too far out with the depth, but it's okay because let me you we need to get Not for sure. Your son looks like you because he have the good looks from you. Don't be sorry for that, Brenda. <laughs> so Joel Moore went missing about 11 years ago. Um, nobody's heard from him. It was in one evening and he just up and vanished him in his car. So the possibilities of him being in the water is a great possibility. Um,
DR, that's a good song, Tony. So, hey, FK Burnham, thank you so much for the offer. If I'm ever up in your area, that was amazing comment, so thank you. I'm gonna sleep, it's 11 p.m. here. Okay, good night, sweet dreams. Do they have a ping on his last phone? It was pinged around West area of where he's from, um, but that was 10 years ago. So pinging on the areas, you know, we don't exactly know. So uh, I have searched a lot of places in Harrisburg. I've searched a lot of places in Equality. And so now we're starting to go West and get different areas around here because, you know, it's around Pittsburgh, it's Pittsburgh area is where he's from. So I was told by Dennis, which is from Team Water Sonar. Um, if you guys want to get a sonar, that's the people to get it through because they're amazing people and they like to help. And he's helped me out a tremendous amount. So show him some support too. They have a Facebook and a website. They are a nonprofit organization. And uh, all the help is amazing because they they really do. So right here is like a tree log, and then you got a fish on top of it. You're a great man sent from God. I'm just I'm doing I'm I you know I appreciate that comment, but I'm just just me. You know I'm wanting to I'm wanting to make a difference and and bring closure and you know help families out. Plus, you know, I can scuba dive this stuff and it's pretty neat. What's he close to his folks? People sometimes go there to loved ones. So, yeah, I mean, he was, he's a good man. So, just up and up and gone is not, uh, is not like him. So foul play may have been, may have been an issue here. We don't know but we are searching. That's an actual tire in the water. See the tire? See the fish inside of it? Hey, look at this. See that? Okay. Do you see that? That's a catfish. Do you see? <laughs> you see the little swirl on the back of that shadow? That's a big catfish. Doing what makes me feel good. Exactly. You see the? Do you see the wideness of that catfish on that shadow? That's a big mamma jamma. Same feel right here, but you can't actually see that. Well, we might be able to actually get a good view on that one. Hold on. Uh, menu. That's his shadow. Right back there. Yeah, Team Waters with two, and there was a couple other fish. Team Waters with two T's. We're about halfway across this lake. And I know, you know, I spent quite a bit of time with Tim, but it was a half two deal. Sorry about that. Gotta make this go a little faster so we can get a good view of it. I grew up in Michigan always. So we have 323 people in here and 306 likes. That's freaking neat. Thank you for your support. I know, we could probably feed on that forever. Guys, there's some beautiful houses around this area.
So with what I was telling you earlier about um, about this place of Crenshaw, if you look up Crenshaw, there's whole backstories on there. There's actually a book that's made about it to where these guys were escorting these people. Um, it was a Harley guys, Harley, the Harley mob or something. I can't remember exactly what it was all about, but um, there was some satanic and all kinds of crazy rituals and stuff that, that he was talking about. Yeah, so Crenshaw does have a lot of backstories on it, so you guys can actually look at it. Um, it's pretty neat. I didn't actually know about all those stories until he told me. So that's why people keep on telling me to go search it. Now, if everybody is okay with it, I could actually dive down with, with somebody, you know, with me, like Lee or Terrence that has really good, um, that's a really good diver and a master diver and has experience, we can actually go down there and, and do a video on diving that spot. Um, it's crystal, crystal clear. When I say that, I mean it is, you can see 30, 40 feet in front of you. So that'd be pretty neat. No, I didn't pass a boat on the bottom. I looked at that. That's why I kind of stopped a little bit. We're only in three foot of water, so. I love you, brother. Good to see you hard at work. Hey, Robert. Thank you, man. And again, y'all, we will be doing this continuously i'm going to be taking you on my adventures you never know what we're going to find if i don't write it down i can't remember all the details so i'm going to get a hold of uh, uh of ryan the person who was hey john the person who was um yeah you think of it. the person who was giving me a tour around the place and telling me about it and I'll get those details and um, I'll post it on the community post so you guys can see it. I have a map of the place too. That's a bigger fish. See that white and then you got the black dark on there? That's it's the shadow. Woo! So what's happening? What's going on right now, guys, is my paddle has made my legs soaking wet and the wind going by is really brisk pretty chilly we found you there you go I don't care if you guys know where I'm at this is public area good to see you're at 7.8 K subs I got my gloves on it's my legs that are cold I can't put gloves on my leg I was thinking about wearing like jumpsuit pants, like some, you know, some uh, MC Hammer pants underneath these, so it'll get the water off of them. Yeah, I said MC Hammer. Yeah, I'm, 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 oh, I'm old. Not really old, but yeah. Heated suit. That would be neat to have a heated suit. Touch it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're gonna see a shadow on the left side, and you'll probably see some rails, and that is this dock right here. Okay. So I'll let you guys see what that looks like. I do have tights on. I have. Uh, you guys will see these poles. See all this fish that are underneath that dock? Pretty awesome. See the poles? Yeah, yeah. You'll see them even more now. See the dark area and the shadow? That's the whole dock. So, fish, fish, big fish. Fish, fish, fish. All these flashes are fish. It's pretty neat, isn't it? And all these holes here are crappie beds. There's crappie beds and there's actually bass behind it trying to look for some bluegill. 
I don't have any long underwear on. I do have my uh, tights that I go and uh, my real tree tights to um, whenever I go diving, I wear them underneath my underlayer. I should have put on, what I should have did is I should have put on my daggum underlayer and then put all my clothes on on top of them. That would have kept me a little bit warmer. He is actually working on the trailer now, yes. An update on the trailer, guys. You guys' donation toward that, I will have your names on the back of the door. I haven't got them yet, but I promise you, I will have it on there. Um, you know, I took off to Nashville right after that happened because I got new tires on there and I helped out Muddy Bottom Adventures. Um, you know, they didn't have the equipment that they needed to sonar and they were kind of coming up with an invention to put the camera down. See all these fish? See all these white flashes? Those are all fish. If Tim was here, that'd be awesome. But, um, and there's a, a tree, some sticks. So that's actually right underneath me because you see it on both sides. More men, more men in tights, tight tights. <laughs> I know that, that's Robin Hood. So anyway, I helped Muddy Bottom Adventures with the sonar and they took out, uh, he took me out and, and showed me some different locations and then we pulled out a Ford Ranger. You guys can see that on the video. It was a pretty neat time. Mike's a really good man and he helped me out a lot. Friendships were made and you know, I appreciate them guys 100% and I support them 100%. So you know, check out Muddy Bottom Adventures. If you guys will put a link on there. That'd be awesome. Hey, Adam, what's going on? But one at a time, man, not much. Full armor bassin, thank you. So these are actually bass that are right underneath me. This is a waste of your time and for the, for the water, you would know there's a car or truck. So John Stanley, actually, no, um, it is not a waste of my time. And I'm gonna tell you the reason why. I'm not arguing with you, but if you'll actually look up Adventures with Purpose, he found a car in about three foot of water. So it could be, it could be deep, uh, it could be sunk in the mud, stuff like that. So I would never rule out a shallow area. I was actually told that by John, because I thought I would be um, a waste of my time. Uh, and John Mack told me, um, that it, you know, it could possibly be, you could possibly find a vehicle in that shallow of water. So now we're in seven foot, we'll definitely. So anything like four foot, add another foot on it. These are all fish. Silk could be rather deep, yep. Thank you, Holly, for putting up, uh, there's, a big, there's a big fish. I couldn't tell you what kind, it almost kind of looks like a bass. So, so JD Crowd, I mean, you know, as a team member of the AWP, I am not. We are all separate channels, and we're just really good friends. And it meant it meant a lot to me to be able to work with them. But to say I'm a team member, that is incorrect. So, what we got here? But we are really good friends. Looks like a silted out. If that is a vehicle, it looks like it's silted out. Horribly bad. So that's nothing we're looking for. Nothing of our concern right now. If that is a vehicle. Hey, what's going on? Exploring with Nug. How you doing, buddy? Broke my trolling motor. What? What? What does that say? Broke my trailer motor drive bin oh, okay yeah let's mark it i don't think that's really anything that we need to dive on though because uh, it's like we wouldn't even be able to see let me get that okay oh the drive pin oh that's what you're talking about sorry can't complain heading to wyoming in the weekend to get a truck. Awesome, man. Congratulations on the truck. That's neat. 
you found Jimmy Hoffa, right? Exploring with Nug is doing the same thing in, uh, in Alabama. Check him, I'm pretty sure he's in Alabama. Maybe in Tennessee. I'm pretty sure he's in Alabama though. Um, I might be wrong on that. Anyway, check out Exploring with Nug. He's got a great channel. Good friend of ours. And also he is doing the same thing down there with his sonar. Um, until he's able to get a, like a John boat or something, you know, he'll continue to search. But he has great content. I think he's in Georgia. Well, I'm completely wrong off that. <laughs> Working on it now, we'll be watching comment. Awesome. All right, we're in eight foot of water, guys. We're actually in water that we can see. So, uh, let me look, let me actually extend, Georgia. All right, <laughs> sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to completely hack where you're from. So, menu, and we're gonna go out a little further. So while, the reason why I go out a little further is because in deeper water, you can actually do a search pattern deeper. You can actually see it coming out. So it actually needs to be about, uh, let's go about 50. 50 is a good number. It's all good, all the same. Muddy water everywhere, right? Nug is my buddy since I am niblet. <laughs> right? Tell you what, I think I got frostbite on my on my calves, or not on my calves, but on my uh, hamstrings and uh, upper leg. Whoo! <laughs> Let me. As long as as long as Nug knows where he's at, we're good. Let me see it. Sometimes I can't remember it, so my legs are like completely soaked. See the difference between the the wet and the dry. Yeah. Cold, cold, cold. I'm just glad I have a really good signal and I can bring I can bring this content to you. Um, you guys got an advantage. So once it starts getting dark, you guys can actually see. I can't. So what we're coming up to is a retaining wall. See that retaining wall? So that's what you'll see. Rode my Sportster. You're never gonna get that. Oh, I'm never gonna live that down, right? Rode my HD Sportster today in Missouri. That was cold but enjoyable. I guarantee it was enjoyable. So you guys are gonna see a rocky bottom coming up. That is whenever they fill this concrete up. And you see the little jags? That kept the concrete from spilling out and it made them, let them put that, that in there. So the forms wouldn't fall away. Only paid fifteen hundred dollars for the sportster. Nice, Billy. It's okay to get yourself warmed up. Just saying. No, I'm good. Your screen looks extra clean today. It's because of you, Stephanie. It's solely because of you that these people are able. Good night. Look at all those fishies. Um, there's fish right there too. And those are actually a little bit bigger because they're casting a bigger shadow. I love this green. Um, and speaking of that, I actually need to see a few spots. Now I'm gonna be like OCD about my spots on this. Uh, I got lots of viewers telling me to screen, I uh, clean the screen a lot of times. I'm, I, I'm gonna show you, and I think I told you that on a text message, but I'm gonna show you now. Norwex environment clean or window cleaner. So Tammy told me window cleaner, but I got the Enviro cleaner from Stephanie. But this works all the same. I mean, it is amazing. All right, so there is a tire down here and there's some kind of object right here. So I'm gonna back up and go back through there again. Probably thinks I'm freaking nuts. I 
don't want to show. I'm not going to show because that's personal, but she is looking at me like, what in the heck is this guy doing or talking to somebody? Did you wave at her? <laughs> yes, yes. When you say you're part of the team, I understand what you're saying. I thank, thank you so much. Show her it'll be, she'll be all right. Well, she's not there anymore, but... There's the house. Okay. Nope, oh, she is there. She's not looking at me anymore, though. Norwex is a great product. Yeah, it is. It really is. Kidding on the mooning, right? If the old lady moons me, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, I know what she's doing. She she was looking at me. Oh, that's just a, just a little rock or something. Uh, there's the tire. That's a little, but uh, she uh, she's actually putting her Christmas tree up. Ooh, what is that? What is that, guys? I'm thinking it's just a shadow, but that looks interesting. You see that? All right, we're going to go back over that for sure. So, what they're saying about um, Nugs, you know, I I think his his sonar is is a really good sonar. So I don't I don't see I don't know exactly what type of sonar he has, but, <clears throat> you know, it's doing the job. Your sonar is outdated. It's doing the job, though. What do I have? I have a Hummingbird Helix 10. I was gonna look at that spot again. I'm actually gonna go right on top of where that was. see it coming up yet but you will ah wrong button Jacob you dummy it almost looks like pump house of some sort 850 Jeep I'll have to go back over that and look at it how deep is the water there eight feet okay so I'm gonna go back over and get a better better angle at it upside down truck bed I know where it's at I can actually go right over top of it and that's what we'll do we'll drop the magnet on it see see if it sticks and if it does stick we'll get a you know we'll see if if the the neighbor here the one that was looking at me all kind of funny if she'll allow me to get set up there and we'll dive it should be coming up there it is it's a platform of some sort I'm thinking it's a pump house come on 
damn it. Get down. Sorry guys. I'm uh gonna turn this around. Yeah, I think it's an old dock. I think he's right. Alright. I think that's what that is, is an old dock. It is awesome, isn't it? Nug, it's like, it's so clear, it's it's amazing. I'm pretty sure it is an old dock. But we're gonna go back over it and see if it'll stick. If it'll stick, you know, you never know. We could dive it and just make sure it's an old dock. All right, so you'll see it again. Well, you won't see it, I'm seeing it. What is my depth? Um, here, I won't have to show you guys what I'm doing, but I, for all the people, for my mods, just tell them I'm, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's side scan it. Good, good, uh, good idea. Well, if Jacob could, uh, let me see this. Okay. So I am going to pull my magnet back up. I am going to side scan it. Ooh, my legs are cold now. That rope is wet. Okay, we'll get the magnet back up here, and we're gonna we're gonna do what uh, Corey said. Corey Johnson uh, said, do a side scan on it and see if we can. Uh, we should be like right over top of it. Bonnie Chaos, the one I have only has. All right, so yeah, we're right on top of it again. I think that's actually, I think that's actually a ladder or something there. Yeah, that's definitely an old boat dock. That's crazy though. It didn't show it really on, that's, that's why I don't really do the so, side sonar scan. I'm not saying that you were wrong to say that, uh, to ask and on, on to do that, but, uh, I think that the side sonar scan is almost worthless to me. What would be really good, what be, or down imaging, whatever. Shut up, Mike. And I say that with love. Um, I have, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have the 360 come out. Nug, check your PayPal when you get a second. Okay. All right, we're gonna go right back over it. I'm gonna drop this magnet right on top of it. I know where it's at. About. Should be coming up to it here really soon. Oh, come on, go, you stupid boat. Go forward, not backwards. Not metal. You're gonna see it construed because I'm actually spinning around in a circle. Yeah, check out Britain from uh, Depths of History. Also, he has he has an amazing channel too. Um, I know this is not what you think it is, but it kind of looks like a person standing on that. I mean, I know that's probably kind of crappy to say, but <laughs> it kind of does. There's something over top of it. It is getting dark. So we're gonna, that's just a platform, guys. I can tell you that right now. 
So check out Britton and if somebody will throw his link up on the description or not the description, but in the chat, it'd be awesome. Let's check him out. All these guys are doing big things. So, and that's the platform again. We're right over top of it. It's not metal, so it's not. And I don't know what this thing is, but there's something sticking up from it. I swear it's like a pump up. But it's got a lot of fishies around it. See all those fish? You want me to throw up their links? Yes, please. Please, Holly. Um, throw up Britain's and throw up uh, Exploring with Nug and Muddy Bottom Adventures. They're all good people. You guys have supported them 100%, and uh, it's awesome. So I'm going to get away from this scan. Yeah, let's just... Ah, uh, come on. It's not that I don't know what I'm doing. It's that I just, I'm stupid and hit different buttons. Ooh, look at that fishy inside that. All right. There. That's a big one. Okay, let's go. Is it getting dark here? It's getting pretty dark. Stop saying I'm stupid. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Let's get that in there. All right, guys, let's get going. I would like to thank all the mods for doing great jobs on the forums. Uh, others they mod for. Yeah, it is cold out. <laughs> Freaking freezing out. <laughs> it ain't cold. You see a fish, I see acne. <laughs> Yes, our mods, I am very pleased at our mods. They uh, they do me a great, great job. Would that thing pick up a great white shark? Um, so in the next video, I should have the video up for Mermet Springs. It's my dive facility that I dive at. Um, see, these are all, all these. Oh, you're, you're seeing blackheads. I see what you're saying. <laughs> these are all uh, bluegill beds. Um, I do have squirrel moments. So, ooh, there's a big old turtle, guys. Oh, got him. Come here. Come here. Oh, I lost him. I was trying to pick him up. Uh, that was another squirrel, but that was a turtle moment. Yeah, so. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Fish have beds. Fish do have beds. So whenever they lay their eggs, the bluegill go in there and, and swish around the area and it kind of protects them from, from fish and stuff. When they lay their eggs, they kind of protect that and it gives them a area to, to protect. Females lay the eggs, they leave the males surrounded. Um, sometimes if you've got a bedding female, it's hard to catch. I'm talking bass wise. I don't know about bluegill, but uh, if you can catch a female laying on the bed, it's very hard to, to catch. And that's why you generally use um, jigs or worms and you just irritate the piss out of them. Um, and then sometimes they'll hit. So anyway, what I was trying to say is I have a video coming out where you guys are gonna see a school bus. You're gonna see a plane. You're gonna see all kinds of stuff. And that is our dive facility that I am associated with. I pretty much work there um, doing the videos and stuff. And I took this sonar out there to hone in on my, um, my skills on this sonar so I can actually know what I'm diving and actually see it. That is a toilet seat right there. That's a toilet. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, we're gonna, you're gonna get to see Mermet Springs. And uh, I have videos from that, like me and Tanner will go out. And that's the place where you guys see all the huge catfish. And you'll see, uh, you'll see Spoonbill and my videos prior. Oh shit, sorry, didn't mean to say that. I just went over a log and almost took my transducer out. But anyway, you'll see what things look like and I explain it. It's a pretty cool time, so 
Mermet Springs, if you don't have a dive facility and want to learn how to dive, go there. It's 10 and a half miles south of Iana on Route 45. Give them a holler before. They'll set you up in no orientation. And Glenn is the owner. And he is an amazing person. So is his wife and his kids. They have a lot of talent. Um, his son has been making American flag. Been making an American flag deal uh, out of like pallet wood. It's pretty neat. I think you can cuss every now and again. Well, that was kind of a oops moment. Jacob's timed out, I know, right? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Another tire. All right. We're going to have to get scooting here, guys. It's going to get dark on me. Yeah, the clarity on this nug is really neat. I'm, I'm really thrilled about this sonar. Um, so whenever I asked Team Waters, you can find them on Facebook, whenever I asked them about the, about the unit, they said this is the best unit for search and recovery. Um, and he gave, me, he gave me settings to put in for the search and recovery. So not only is this not stock, this is actually settings that he has learned over the year that he's had it or over the you know a couple of years. So there's actually fish there inside those beds. But yeah, so anyway. legs are froze so many blue i want to bluegill fish this i don't even bluegill fish this is some massive stuff does the handling bird do automatic software updates no i have to actually manually do it i need to get me a windows 10 computer to uh to actually replay the um oh the the daggum recording on this whenever i record i can replay it my imac doesn't replay this sky are you seriously still up i want to jump from a perfectly good plane vicky dot i have actually jumped from a perfectly good airplane i have been skydiving it's fun yes it can if connected to windows 10 yeah so i literally got a can you reread the chats i mean i can after afterwards and I can scroll back up and see some of them but I can't see all of them all right Bonnie beautiful chaos I like your name hey um, thank you for your support thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoy it um, share it to your friends you know we're all out here Sam Sam the adventure man adventures with purpose Lauren with Nug, Depths of History, Muddy Bottom Adventures, Rock the Rock. You know, all of us are out here for one cause is to clean up the environment and to possibly bring some closures to people's families and resolutions. You know, they searched, um, Exploring with Nug and, and, and Britain, they searched, so you're, I'm sorry, you're gonna get ready to see a, uh, a dot coming by it'll be on your left so just keep an eye on that but um you know they searched for a missing woman um and and they did a tagline kind of search pattern and it was really nice and uh, they took their time out to do that and then then that's what means a lot to me you know i thought you were going to see a doc but oh well, duh you dummy so this was the dock around here it's a floating dock. It doesn't have any legs. I look back and see it. Jacob, can nothing pick up halibut laying on the bottom? Yes. Yeah, it can, well, it probably could. Definitely show you a little bit of it. All right, let me look here. I got a tire. Uh, 
those are just big beds, okay. I'm doing five things at once. Holly, are you painting, are you painting my, my uh, keychain for me? <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, the missing girl out of, the missing girl out of, come on. The missing girl out of Res, Resica, Georgia. Yep. I'm gonna bring you out here in the summer. I would like to check this out. Okay, we, we can do that. That'll be perfectly fine. And I should have my, my, uh, my scout boat where I'm not for sure if the, I'm not for sure if my boat out there will be good, but we'll have some fun, to say the least, or we can just use your boat and I can put the sonar on it. So, if you have a bracket for it. Whew. All right, so it's getting dark. Not too dark. I wish I had solar panels for my house. <laughs> I apologize if this is a dumb question, but where are you from? I'm from Harrisburg, Illinois. It's not a dumb question. You guys can ask me anything. Well, not anything, but you know what I mean. Two hundred ninety-eight people in here and three hundred and seventy-three people, or likes. That's cool. Now there's three hundred people in here. All right, so we're gonna continue the search. Start getting at it because it's getting dark. Sounds like you like halibut. Uh, if you haven't checked out Brent Mitch's channel, check him out. He does halibut. He uh, goes and shoots them and, and, and eats them and, and has fun with them. I think I need to... Well, well it's, it's out as far as it can go. For some reason, this is too close for my likings. There we go. Now you guys can see the water temperature. Can't see the air temperature, but it's like a cold. I haven't heard any news about the quad. Philip, chill. Uh, and I probably won't. Probably, I mean, it's a lost cause. Um, it had about 15 owners. And one had to deal with a divorce. And the woman gave the, gave the boat away. <laughs> Ryan, how much does that unit cost, if you don't mind me asking? So, th through Team Waters, um, you know, you're going to look, and I do suggest you go through Team Waters to support a local business and helping out this cause. It's around, and don't quote me on this, but I'm going to say around $2,200. Um, that's not including, like, the 360 that I'm getting ready to get. That's around $1,300 more but they can actually set you up with what you need. They can set you up with the, the connectors, they can mail it to you and all that stuff. So if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have been able to afford it. Hands down, you guys rock and I appreciate it. There's a tire. Mm. Icicles are ready, guys. My legs are icicles. One of the cops were saying ran away and won't do anything about it. Yeah, you know, they picked it up in the uh, tow truck, and that's just it. How hard is it to figure out what you're looking for? I am a slow individual. This is very um, user-friendly. You know, like the one that, that um, Jared from Adventures with Purpose has. His is actually the Solix, and it's a little bit more difficult. There's a lot of different programs on it. You can do a lot of different things on it. It's touchscreen. This one is really user-friendly, especially when you get, when you go through Team Waters, you'll also get um, the ability to say, um, you know, ability to talk to them and, and and ask different questions and he will go through everything. And before you leave or before you get off the phone, you will know that system. So. Oh, 
Whew. Hell yes, we're in two foot of water, and y'all think that that's not able to hold a vehicle. It could, uh, could possibly be in the silt. There's really nothing I can do about it. Like, it is what it is. I'm not gonna go out searching in the middle because I'm going 50 foot out in the right and I've already covered the other side. So, we're covering the area. <sighs> yes, Team Waters, if somebody would drop a Team Waters link, they are a nonprofit organization and they do accept donations and I I do um, I, I would say it would be amazing if you guys if you could afford it and at some point in given time to give them a donation um, they do hard work they are a nonprofit organization so all the stuff that goes to that goes through the equipment and it goes to what they're doing so they go like when the cops call them like right now they're searching for a guy that committed suicide off of a bridge um, they're searching for his body and have for the past I don't know a week and a half now um, I'm getting updates every day on, on different things you know not not of the search or anything like that but on what they're doing so they're doing big things just like we are and I appreciate them 100% what am I looking for? Zachary, Slee, I am looking for vehicles. I'm looking for anything of interest that I can dive on. I am looking for stuff. I'm just looking for stuff. So, there you go. And, you know, I can't get everybody's comment, so if you guys don't spam the chat, but wait a couple minutes and then send it out again. John, pretty deep, depending on where the body was, the water, yeah. Have fun, mate. Okay, cool, thank you. Silk and water. This is a really shallow spot, jeez. Almost to the boat ramp. It's just around the bend. Does that sound familiar, Mike? Just around the bend? <laughs> I'll let you guys see what it looks like out here. It's just around the bend. It's just right there. So we're on our way. And I'm gonna be so glad to turn that heat on. If y'all don't know, it's about 30 degrees outside, 35 degrees. There's a couple tires. Jacob needs a net, DuPont spinner when he finds a school of fish, right? You know, there'll be times where I'll go out. There'll be times where I'll go out and if I'm at a good fishing area, you know, no disrespect on what I'm doing because I can still search and fish. But there's some times where you'll see me with a fishing pole in my hand. And that's just to, to, to break up the, uh, to break up the, how do you say it? I don't want to say it wrong. Monot no, I don't even. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It gives me a break, and it makes me enjoy doing what we're doing. So, monotony. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just, you know. It, it's it's not hindering what I'm doing. I just you know it's it's just a fun little break. Breaks the tension. Thank you. No, I'm not gonna try to dive it. No, no, that that um that area is not of concern. That's that's just a platform of some sort, maybe a pump house, maybe an old dock. Uh the metal didn't stick on there, so Monopoly, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> oh, my legs are cold. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, I use, we also use a laughter and joking and I, I'm able to talk to you guys and, and, and spend time with you guys while I'm searching. So it, it really means a lot to me for your guys' support and talk to me. 
we got there? I think we got a bow. Oh, no, we got the screw here. Cause I'm turning. Let me turn back around on that one. You should wear old skin trousers, huh? Okay. So I'm gonna turn around here. You'll see it on the right side, whatever that was. We're by the golf course, so I don't know if it ever pick up a golf ball. I don't think it will. Help to ease the mind. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. That's that's the right word to use. Okay, Joe, I will. Thank you. Oh, that was just a bodies float for around 20, 30 minutes, depending on conditions. Sink body releases goes. Yeah, yeah. So, um, depending on the on the coldness of the water, when when somebody floats back up, they'll only float for so long, and then the gases will release out of their body. But it takes a little bit for that to happen. So. I just found, I just found one in the ocean. They said he was out there for a week. Oh wow, that's crazy. All right. That's super crazy, Brent. And it also helps that, you know, that we're out here and I'm talking to you guys. It also helps, it, you know, in case I fall over in the water, you guys can call somebody and, and get me help. Um, Cause I'll be daggum cold. Now, if it was in the summertime, I'd say, nah, don't worry about me, but I do have my life vest on, but it is daggum cold out. So I go in the water, we're gonna have some fun. And y'all know, I'm gonna step away from this. This is only a foot of water. So you gotta remember a foot, you gotta add another foot. So we're only in like three foot of water right now. So but you just never know what could be in here. Another helicopter. No. The plane turns sideways. You hear a noise. Okay. We had two kids that went into the sea and they tucked three weeks before they walked ashore. Wow. Squirrel, be certain design who calls for help. Tight line, monster. safety first, right? So with you guys being there, you guys are also keeping me company. Once I get the scout, I'm gonna be able to bring some people around with me. So, but till then there's no sense in, in my dad coming out and stuff like that. I fish in that area a lot. Hey, what's up, Willie? Well, there's nothing in here except a dive platform. How about that? And there's ones we've never find exactly. Paul is also a, a diver too, if y'all didn't know. And a toilet seat, oh yeah. No, it's a whole toilet. It wasn't just a toilet seat, it was a whole toilet. I want to go fishing, right? That's a lot of weight, man. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yep, Jacob can't feel his legs. <laughs> but you got to look. Exactly, you do. You got to look. You got to get out there and search. And this is an open source investigation, guys. Like, anybody can do this. If you have a sonar, get out there in a boat. If you find something that looks, that looks suspicious, um, you know, have some people check it out. Call a diver, have them check it out. I'm trying to figure out, I think I've done, I think I've done screwed up. The dock's not there. Did I go too far over? Oh, I did. It goes around the corner. So it's around the other bend. <laughs> That's funny. See, Mike, we all do it. I'm lost on the lake. I'm not lost. I just, I, I just didn't go toward the dock. 
I went on the other side. <laughs> Quick, guys. <laughs> I didn't notice that there was another, I didn't notice it bending around like that. Just around the next bend, yep. The other side. Yeah, it's, it's on the other side. We're only in a foot of water. Well, two foot, probably three, so. As you guys can tell, this little black spot is getting really skinny. That's the water column from the top of the boat to here. Those bends will get you, all right? They will too. Four bends later. <laughs> guys, I am so happy that you guys followed Tim. I can't wait to see how many he has this evening whenever I get home. Can anybody check on that? Chaos. If any of you guys ever make it back to Kentucky, I can show you a place where people used to jump off of High Bridge. Hold on. High Bridge. And you can also see vehicles in the water while driving over the bridge. Well, get a hold of me, JD. Get a hold of me. All right, but if it's not around, the next one, somebody should come. Tim who, I'll subscribe. Um, Tim Haunts Fishing. He was the guy who uh, gave me a, he's, he's the guy who, I'm just gonna be honest with you, Britt. He screwed me. <laughs> he gave me a, uh, he gave me a screw for my GoPro uh, mount to put this camera back on. <laughs> and yeah, those bends will get you if you resurface too, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ruby. Tim Hahn. So Sean put his uh, put his link on there. So thank you, guys. Tim's at 167. Wow, that's cool. I made his day, his fishing trip, and him jogging, him jogging alone. He did. He screwed me. He's a YouTube fisherman that was on the land that Jacob was passing. Yeah, he was. Um, so yeah, don't drop the cell. Come on now. 169 people. Wow, 291 people and 408 likes. That is incredible. Hey, this is beautiful, guys. Check this out. And I'm still looking at the sonar, so don't freak out. Isn't that beautiful? You got screwed and it didn't suck, right? <laughs> Just subscribe to Tim. Yeah. So Tim ran, literally ran, to get me a screw. Well, he didn't like run. Well, he ran for a little bit and then he started jogging. Then he brisk, briskly walked. He asked me if I could do it. I said, no, probably not. <sighs> Yes, I am heading back. I should be around the bit. <laughs> should be around the bit. That's what I love right there. Look at that, guys. Would love that picture as a puzzle. Right? Oh. Just got back from lobster diving. Did you get any? Of course, right? What a beautiful end of the day, right? Them dang bends, I know. Okay. So guys, you have went around, completely around Heron Pond, and there is no vehicles in here. So, I still gotta look up around four minute area um, and, and see what they were talking about. Looks like a Jeep. I didn't see anything really that, of course I got my limits, you can have, okay. Waiter, keep them on your legs. Yeah, I probably could do that. It is a big bend. It's just around the corner, I swear, guys. <laughs> I looked and I was like, well, wait a minute, where's my dock? Do you see all the fishies? All these little white spots? Those are all little fishies. Just finished a hot bowl of tomato soup. 
Thanks. Ooh, what we got here, guys? What do we have here? Hey. What is that? That kind of looks like a pallet, but then again, it doesn't. All right, let's see this. Huh. What is that? Anybody tell what that is? Hmm. I think it may be a crate. Let me let me mark this. I think it is a pallet for fishing. Get out your grappling hook. I would if it was if it wasn't in a camper or right, in the trailer. Let me go back over that so I can get a better view at it. Just to make for sure. Well, I'm pretty sure it's a pallet. The John boat and the weeds over here. Oh, my freaking legs are frozen. May have to put the wrong time stamp for the Jeep. I'll, you know, I look over and I do look over everything. Looks like some kind of structure. Yeah, I think so. I don't think it's anything of concern like a vehicle, but we just went right over top of it. Kind of actually looks like a boat. Went in the water. We should be right over top of it now. I'm trying to get a different angle at it. It should be on my right side coming up. Right there, a little bit further out. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, it's misconstrued. Yeah, there we go. I, I know what I'm doing. It's act, it actually caught it again. Whenever I turned around, it caught it again. That's why I was trying to figure out what the heck just happened. That's the thing on the right. That's the thing we were looking for. Yeah, that's the thing we're looking for. I just turned around and it caught it. No, it doesn't look like no truck. That's not a truck. Trust me, that's not a truck. I'm going right back over top of it. It's on my left, you dummy. That's on my right, I mean. I wish I had my grappling hook right now. You're gonna see it multiple times because I'm going back and forth on it. Nothing's sticking to it though. That's why I need my Dag, I'll, I'll put a side scan on it. That's why I need my dad gum uh, 360 on here. I could have just dropped it in the water and seen it. All right, so we're gonna. 
I think it's just a pallet. There we go. Well, hell, we're just, I mean. <laughs> we're only a foot of water. Oh, I'm actually on top of it. I'm hitting it with my, my paddle. It's something small, guys. I'm hitting it with my paddle right now. All right, it's nothing. It's just a... Let me, uh, let me go through it on the side scan again and I'll, uh, I'll get a good clear view of it here in a second. I'm gonna turn back around and we're gonna get a... So we should see it, it should be on the right a little bit. Sound like wood, it was. That's why I was saying it wasn't anything of interest. I'm going straight over it right now, but you should see it on the sonar. Down imaging, need to get right over top of it. Should be going right over top of it in about right now. Just a pallet. Yep, there you go. There it is. There we go. That's right there. The pallet lay on its side. Look for my spinner bait. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, guys. All right, I'm gonna have to start uh, start trucking it back. You know, this just around the bend thing got longer. All right. Thanks, Paul, for um, doing, you know, asking for that. <laughs> Y'all gonna laugh at me. No, there's no light at the boat ramp. That's why I said, y'all y'all gonna laugh at me. It's at the other bend. <laughs> oh my God. No, oh, I didn't do nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm good. <laughs> That's not the spot. Thank you, I appreciate it, Connie. Yearly. All right, let's go. I did say which bend earlier, right? Uh, we have, I haven't, but Team Waters did. Um, we're still gonna search areas around there. We're gonna get the big boat out. I'm not lost, Sean. I know where I'm at. I'm on Heron Lake. <laughs> Even thumbs down helps the algorithm for this channel, yeah. Well, hopefully I don't get no thumbs down. That last video I, 
don't need a lost yacker. <laughs> I'm not lost. Just misplaced my truck. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask anybody on this because they're uh anybody because uh, they all think I'm nuts talking to myself <laughs> just around the bend oh the Jeep is lost yeah I'm not lost the Jeep is lost this is a big lake that gum you know men never ask for directions nope I guarantee you, if I keep on going around, I'll find my Jeep. Ooh, my legs are cold. Do I have a flashlight? Oh, I got my phone. It'd be funny if somebody living there watched your YouTube. Yeah, right? And this is why I have you guys. So whenever I'm uh, just around the bend, I can talk to you guys. Or you'll get lost in the dark. You know, I'm in a busy area. I'm not lost, guys. I just took a scenic route, okay? Just calm down, I'm good. Just need to know where my Jeep is. I didn't realize that this lake was this big. Don't need a map. <laughs> I am the man, right? I need some leg warmers. I just don't want to put a trolling motor on this. I'm getting ready to get the scout. Just a little adventure. There you go. That's that's. A, I just didn't realize that this lake was this big. It bends around a lot. I have a trolling motor. I just haven't put it on here because you know, I was fixing to get that scout if it would ever come here. Maybe got it towed. Yeah. Wouldn't be chaos without any adventure, right? Huh. Okay. This is fun. looks different coming from the other direction. You're right, Nancy. Hmm. Way bigger than... Hey, who was that person that said they lived around here? Why don't you go to the... Uh... Those scouts look awesome. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you go to the boat ramp and flash your lights at me? You know, I wouldn't be lost if I wasn't on here. <laughs> I could look it up. Next time, flag a tree. Ah, it's just getting a little dark. <laughs> oh, I won't. I'm not that cold. My legs are frozen. Hey! I found my Jeep! <laughs> I see her, I think. I think that's my Jeep. Is that my Jeep? Yeah, there's the house. Yeah, I found a Jeep. <laughs> that's funny. Just around the bend, guys. I don't have a remote start on mine, but I did find it. It's the only square object. Um, I parked underneath some lights, so. Man, Heron Lake is big. 
Yay, I see it. It's right there. But you can't see it because it's now really blurry. It's right there. All right, guys. So I appreciate each and every one of you 100%. Thank you very much for your time. I enjoyed talking to you. Looking at something real quick. That's just, just walk. Enjoyed talking to you. If you haven't and, and you would like to support the channel, I would really appreciate it if you go to chaos.com and click become a member and um, it'd be amazing. You guys are awesome. Keep diving. It's not worth it to stop. And um, the reason why I say that is because you just never know. You know, somebody out there loves you and, and you know, it's not worth it to... It, it's it, it's mainly about I'm just gonna say it's mainly about suicide guys like it's a real thing it's, it's something to uh, it's not something to play with so somebody out there loves you and if nobody loves you I love you y'all have a nice day keep diving it's not where to stop and I'll talk to you guys later